Horse racing, golf courses, and treehouse sleepovers? Why is nobody talking about this deluxe Disney World Resort? Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Today we're heading into what some of you might consider to be uncharted deluxe resort territory. Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa tends to not be at the forefront of everybody's minds in the midst of booking their dream Disney World Resort. While other hotels are all about immersing you in the themes like French Riviera or vibrant Caribbean or a literal African savanna, Saratoga Springs is themed around the 1800s version of a small city in upstate New York, minus the snow. But what's so special about Saratoga Springs, New York, where I've actually been to like work conferences and stuff, that would capture the attention of Disney Imagineering? Well, it's famous for historic horse racing. But before we look too much deeper into the uh, whole jam surrounding Disney's Saratoga Springs, there are two very important things you need to remember about this place throughout the duration of the video. One, Saratoga is a deluxe villa resort, meaning all the rooms that you're going to find here will be spacious and pricey. And two, Saratoga is the largest Disney Vacation Club resort on property. Many folks who are a part of this timeshare program tend to make Saratoga their home resort, since it'll give you some of the most spacious rooms for the least amount of vacation points. Points. But if you're not part of the DVC family, then all you need to know is that you don't have to be a DVC member to stay here. Just note that a lot of Disney Vacation Club members do stay here, so you might feel like you've accidentally stepped into a neighborhood rather than a Disney hotel. Intrigued yet? Good. Let's take off to the races. Can Saratoga's equestrian vibes hold a candle to the epic theming surrounding resorts like Polynesian Village or Wilderness Lodge? Much like the actual Saratoga Springs, Disney's version of Saratoga has a very quaint, relaxed, and giddy-up feel to it. Saratoga Springs is secluded and quiet with lots of remote spots to sit and relax and look out across the water. And what you'll find across the water is none other than the Disney Springs Shopping District. Saratoga Springs is located in the Disney Springs Resort area, and depending on where your room is located, you might be able to take a short walk over to the shopping district for a bite to eat and maybe a quick shopping spree. Well, everybody will be able to walk over there. It just might take you a lot longer if you're at the other end of the hotel. And speaking of that, since this resort is the largest DVC resort, it's also pretty spread out and broken up into many different sections. So walking to Disney Springs may not be as feasible if your room is placed all the way over in, say, the Carousel Building near the hotel's main entrance rather than the Congress Park Building closer to the Disney Springs walkway. But back to the question at hand, does Saratoga Springs theming tug at your Disney vacation heartstrings like some of the other resorts do? Eh, my default answer is no. Considering there are way more interesting Disney resorts out there that provide much more excitement and colorful character influences than Saratoga promises. However, if minimal Disney theming, chill vibes, and pony art check all the boxes for you, then I could see this hotel being a favorite for adults who are simply looking to escape for a bit of R&R. So now it's time to talk about cost. Anytime you're booking a room at one of Disney World's deluxe resorts, just expect to fork over some big bucks. We're talking hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars each night, depending on which room you settle on. However, when it comes to Saratoga Springs, the rooms you're paying for are relatively more spacious for that asking price than what you'll find around other deluxe resorts. So you don't have to worry about dropping a whole lot of money and not getting what you wanted space-wise. So let's break down all the different room options at Saratoga, ranging from their studios and villas and even their most unique treehouse rooms. The Deluxe Studio or the Preferred Deluxe Studio can sleep up to four adults with one queen bed and one double pull-down bed. They also have one full bathroom and views of gardens or the lake or the pool or the woodlands or the fairways, depending on which studio you choose. You can expect to pay between $450 and $600 per night for the standard deluxe studio and $500 to $650 for the preferred option, which is going to put you closer to the resort's amenities, like the carriage house and the Disney Springs walkway. Now, onto the villas. There are a few different villa options, one of them being the one-bedroom villa. These sleep up to five adults and include a master bedroom with a king bed, one queen-size pull-down bed, and one twin-size pull-down down bed and these are going to cost you around 640 to 800 per night preferred villas will cost 800 to 1000 per night now consider this for a second when you get a one bedroom villa at Saratoga Springs you're buying a room with 714 square feet of space within a deluxe resort that means you'll also receive deluxe resort only benefits such as the extended evening hours which allow you to stay in the parks on certain nights up to two hours after they close for everyone else now, if you decided to go the family suite route over at Disney's value resort, Art of Animation, instead, in the hopes of saving a buck to sleep the same amount of guests, you'll not only end up receiving less space, like 520 square
square feet instead of 714, but you might also wind up actually spending more on your suite, 600 to 700 per night, and you won't even have the extended evening hours to show for it. So I'm not justifying those high Saratoga Springs prices or anything, but if you are already planning on spending that kind of money on your resort regardless, you might want to consider the Saratoga Springs route for the added space and benefits. Okay, back to the pricing and the different room types. The two bedroom villas add not only a second bedroom, but a second bathroom too. These villas can sleep up to nine adults and include a king bed, two queens, a queen size pull down bed, and a twin size pull down bed. These cost between $900 and $1,200 per night or $1,200 to $1,600 for preferred. For even more space, you can splurge on those three bedroom grand villas, which sleep up to 12 adults. These rooms are split up between two stories, so there really is a lot of space to move around here instead of having to stress that everyone's gonna feel like they're on top of each other. These rooms cost between $1,900 and $2,300 per night. You could very well split that price between the other members of your family or your group who you're planning on traveling with if need be though. And by the way, they have four full bathrooms. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, quite the assumption, right? Let's talk about those treehouse villas. Just to make sure we're on the same page here, you're not actually sleeping in a treehouse like you might have had in your backyard back when you were a kid. Instead, your villa is elevated at eye level with the trees surrounding you, meaning you're gonna have to take the stairs up to your room at the end of each night. If you or someone you're traveling with has mobility concerns, there are handicap accessible options for these treehouse villas too, with ramps available for wheelchairs and ECVs. One thing to note about the tree houses is that they're not exactly with the other rooms in Saratoga Springs. Like, yes, they're still technically on the same property, but in order to reach any of the resort's amenities from those tree houses, you're gonna have to either drive or take the internal shuttle bus to the spring stop or walk via the pedestrian path, which could be quite a hike, especially if you're placed all the way back in the boonies amongst the tree houses closest to the Disney Vacation Club Way Road. The tree houses do have their own boat dock to Disney Springs, but once again, you're not in that central location of the villas, you're not going to be able to access it easily. The tree houses are a unique option to the Saratoga Springs resorts and are able to sleep up to nine adults with two queen beds, one queen size sleeper sofa, a bunk bed, and a twin size sleeper chair. For the record, that sleeper chair isn't really ideal, especially for planning on staying put for a while. So when Disney says this place can sleep nine adults, they don't necessarily mean comfortably. Food for thought. The tree houses also have two full bathrooms and are gonna cost you around 1,300 to 1,700 per night. That is, if you even find one to book, these treehouse reservations fill up a year in advance sometimes, since they've become quite the popular pick amongst the DVC community. Not to mention, these villas are very, very limited in quantity. However, you might find a bit more luck booking a treehouse through a reliable third-party Disney Vacation Club rental service like David's DVC Rentals. They act as a middleman between DVC members who want to get rid of their vacation points and they aren't planning on using them before they expire, and non-DVC members who want a potentially much cheaper stay in a larger hotel room. To learn more about that third-party service, check out our Hotel Secrets That Could Save You Hundreds video right after this. Aside from beds and toilets and treehouse villas on stilts, what else can you expect to find in the rooms at Saratoga Springs? Are they full of characters or colors or in-room scavenger hunts? Nope, nothing of the sort. The decor for the rooms at Saratoga Springs is quaint. Think simple floral patterns, some pictures of horses up on the walls, and a very cozy cottage-like vibe going on with a few hidden Mickeys scattered here and there. The deluxe studios have some nice amenities to make your stay more convenient, but nothing really out there that'll make you go, whoa, wasn't expecting that. It's more so the things you'd normally find. Microwave, mini refrigerator, coffee pot, toaster. But one of the coolest things about these rooms is that you'll have access to your own little patio or balcony area where you can enjoy a complimentary cup of coffee in the morning as you take in a view of the garden or lake or pool or, you know, wherever you are. As the rooms ascend the fanciness scale and the price points, you'll unlock access to more and more amenities. Entities. The villas include fully equipped kitchens with refrigerators, a whirlpool tub, and your very own washers and dryers, so you don't have to worry about hitting up a laundry facility anytime someone gets a Mickey Premium ice cream bar stain on their shirt. The villas feel a bit more homey than the studios, and the decor feels more rustic and modern. There are more horse paintings and tchotchkes themed around Mickey and Minnie, and a lounging picture of Goofy hanging out behind the pull-out bed. The kitchen and living area spaces are very open with multiple seating areas, so again, you don't have to worry about your travel group being in everyone else's personal business at all times. 
But what about the tree houses? Again, these aren't your typical backyard tree houses. They feel a lot more rustic and cabin-like thanks to all the wooden fixtures and earthy tones. There's also just something about bunk beds that make you feel like you're in a cabin, right? Along with the bunks, there are picnic bench style seating areas, a breakfast bar, plenty of couches to collapse onto at the end of a grueling park day. And don't worry, Disney's gonna make sure you get the chance to appreciate that tree house view. There are massive windows looking out to the trees, which you can appreciate inside of the villa, and a private outdoor deck which you can appreciate outside. Even the bathrooms are designed to make you feel one with nature. Don't read too much into that. There's pebble work in the showers and butterfly decorations on the wall. All in all, any of these rooms can make you feel at home, but aside from a few Disney pictures here and there, I wouldn't really call them exciting. Initially, the tree houses may sound like the perfect place for your kids to get all hyped up about, but they're not going to be nearly as whimsical as, say, the Moana-style rooms in Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, or those princess-themed royal guest rooms at Port Orleans Riverside, or even the Art of Animation Family Suites, which drop you into the world of Cars, or Finding Nemo, or The Lion King. That being said, if your number one priority for a Disney hotel room is finding a place with lots of space for a potentially slightly lower price point than the other deluxe resorts, then Saratoga Springs could be your ticket. Now, one thing about Saratoga that I really don't like is the apartment building complex type feel here. These definitely look like apartment buildings, not the tree houses, but the villas and the studios. And you're gonna park right outside and then you're gonna take the elevators up to your room and your room's gonna open right onto an outdoor hallway so it's going to feel very much like you're in an apartment complex in florida staying there and i don't know when i spend that much money on a hotel room i just kind of like to have indoor hallways and sort of feel like i'm in a fancy hotel but again when you get that much space for the money then it could be worth it so what benefits can saratoga springs reap by being in the disney springs area well depending on where your room is located you might just be able to take a quick five to ten minute jaunt across the disney springs walkway and grab a bite to eat from one of their hundred of restaurants. Not to mention, aside from all the shopping, there are so many other activities there, like bowling at Splitsville, or taking a cruise across the lake on an amphicar, or riding in a tethered hot air balloon via the aerophile. The rooms in the Congress Park section of the hotel are closest to the Disney Springs walkway, which also means these rooms are going to be pricier than some of the others. But what can the other building sections in Saratoga Springs offer? Ironically, the Springs section isn't closest to Disney Springs, which sounds like it should be, but alas. However, it is the closest to the Carriage House, which is pretty much the main hub of the resort. This is where you'll find the lobby and the artist palette shop and quick service restaurant, the turf club bar and grill, and the main swimming pool. This is also where you're going to find the boats over to the Disney Springs area, just in case you don't want to do all that walking. Again, since rooms in this area are going to be considered preferred rooms, you'll have to pay more for the convenience of being closer to everything. The paddock buildings are part of the Springs and Congress Park loop, but they're awkwardly off to the side where they're not super close to anything in particular, but not exactly as far away as some of the other buildings are. They do, however, have their own pool in case you don't want to walk all the way over to the feature pool near the lobby. And then there's the grandstand section and the carousel section, which are ironically both towards the main entrance of the resort and yet still the furthest away from everything. The grandstand area is where you're going to be able to access the treehouse villas, but you'll also find a quiet pool area over over here too. But the carousel building, it's just playing out in the boonies, my friends. To get anywhere, you're going to have to hitch a ride on a bus, drive over to a different section of the resort, or walk, walk, walk. But hey, at least the rooms are cheaper over here, right? Now, I've talked a lot about how Saratoga Springs is over in the Disney Springs area, but does that mean it's far away from everything else? Well, sort of. A major downside to Saratoga Springs is that the only way you're going to make it over to the theme parks while still using Disney's free transportation services is by taking the buses. There's nothing inherently wrong with Disney's bus system. In fact, we're thankful it exists at no extra cost. But normally when you're paying deluxe resort prices for a room, that price tag usually includes access to multiple forms of transportation, like monorails or skyliners, to make traveling over to the parks a bit more convenient. But at Saratoga Springs, you're far enough away from the parks where other forms of transportation really aren't an option, aside from the boats you can take to Disney Springs. So unless you drive yourself over to the parks or decide to pay for a ride share, you're pretty much at the mercy of the bus system. What's even more frustrating is the number of bus stops within the resort. This is like those moderate resorts, right? Since Saratoga Springs is massive, there are five internal bus stops located at each building area. Now, this isn't the worst thing ever. Multiple bus stops means that no matter which part of the resort you end up staying in, you'll still only be a short walk away from a bus stop at all times. 
But buses won't just stop at your building's bus stop. They'll travel around to each of them to pick up multiple guests around all five buildings. Not only does this make your bus trip much longer, but if your stop happens to be one of the last ones that your shuttle stops at, then it's possible the bus could fill up before it even gets to you, meaning you'll have to wait for the next one, which could be another 20 to 25 minutes on top of how long you've already been waiting. And that stinks. Now, chances are, if you haven't stayed at Disney Saratoga Springs before, then you probably haven't eaten at any of its restaurants. I might be wrong, but rarely do I ever hear about folks going out of their way to have a meal at Saratoga, for good reason. Despite how incredibly large this hotel is, there really aren't too many dining options here. Once again, this becomes a big downfall for this as a deluxe resort. Usually deluxe resorts house signature restaurants like how Disney's Riviera has Topolino's Terrace, Contemporary's got California Grill, Animal Kingdom has Chico, etc. But all you're going to be able to find at Saratoga is a quick service restaurant, a bar and grill, several pool bars, and a little snack stand. That being said, don't forget, Disney Springs is right next door, and if you're in a section of the resort that's super close to the shopping district, you'll have access to tons of restaurants at all times, ranging from quick to table service to signature. But let's not completely count out Saratoga Springs dining options just yet. Though they are limited, they can still be decent choices for those staying at the hotel. So let's take a look around and see what you're going to find. First up on this list, we've got Artist's Palette, a quick service restaurant serving up breakfast, lunch, and dinner in an art deco-like setting. These colorful dangling glass light fixtures are the best part about this place, and you're basically gonna see those first as soon as you walk in. You're gonna find pretty basic bites on the menu like breakfast wraps, salads, some pizzas. It's basically stuff that everybody's gonna find something here that they can eat. There are some more unique options from time to time like braised meatballs, plant-based gyro, and shrimp and grits for breakfast. And if you're a fan of Disney's seasonal cupcakes, you're going to find some rather creative and tasty ones in the bakery display cases here, so keep an eye out for those. The Turf Club Bar & Grill is your table service option at Saratoga Springs, which shines a spotlight on American-style cuisine in a clubhouse-type atmosphere. This is right next to the Lake Buena Vista Golf Course, making it a good spot to relax after some golf. Here you can order steaks and seafood, pasta and sandwiches alongside a plethora of drink options from their full bar. You can also hit up the Turf Club Lounge, which features specialty cocktails and a few lounge fare options like the charcuterie for two and apple fritters. Just note that the lounge's food service is only available till 9.30 p.m. And as an added bonus to this bar, grill and lounge combo, you're gonna find TVs and a pool table to help pass the time during those particularly rainy Disney days when you can't go immediately back out into the putting greens post meal. Speaking of golf, if you get a little snacky following your 18 holes, Chippendales Cafe is a small snack stand with sandwiches, wraps, quesadillas, packaged snacks, and it's located right there at the golf course. Is there a reason you should trek out to this location if you're not playing golf? No. But if you need to refuel, Chip and Dale are there to save the day. Saratoga Springs has a few different pools, and with each pool comes different pool bars. These include Paddock Grill, which serves drinks in small bites, On the Rocks Pool Bar, which only has drinks, and Backstretch Pool Bar, which is open seasonally, like during summer vacation. And that's it! Like I said, the food options here are pretty scarce for a deluxe resort, but remember, this is Disney Vacation Club completely, which means a lot of these rooms are going to have full kitchen, so many folks are going to make food in their actual room. Now, let's talk activities. This may shock you, but you can't actually ride horses at Disney's Saratoga Springs. You're gonna have to head over to Disney's Fort Wilderness for those kinds of recreational activities. However, that doesn't mean you're not gonna find plenty to do here to fill your day outside the theme parks. Let's start by checking out that main feature pool, the High Rock Spring Pool, which has two nearby whirlpool spas and a long water slide that'll spit you out and make you wanna ride again and again and again. This pool is designed to feel like a spring, so it's themed with rock formations and and waterfalls and a cute Donald Duck play area for the kids. The paddock pool is the second largest pool at the resort with another big water slide, kids play area and whirlpool spa. The theming here is a little plain so that water tower housing the slide is going to be your main attraction. There are also three additional leisure pools located at the Treehouse Villas, Congress Park and the Grandstand. Some of these pools have been undergoing refurbishments as of late, so make sure you double check with the Disney World website and find out if your upcoming stay is going to clash with any of the pool's downtimes. Saratoga Springs really is all about the great outdoors. Around the resort, you're going to find playgrounds and barbecue areas and jogging trails free for you to use at any time. But you're also going to find an indoor 24-hour fitness center with cardio machines, free weights, and strength training equipment. 
For some additional exercise, you could always rent a bike or Surrey bike to ride around the grounds, and on select mornings, you can participate in the resort's sunrise yoga sessions. You can check with the front desk or the weekly activities board near the lobby to find out when yoga is going to be offered during your visit. In need of some rental equipment? Saratoga's got that too. You can rent free equipment for a friendly competition of tennis, shuffleboard, or basketball. And at night, the resort shows movies under the stars and hosts campfire activities over at the DVC Courtyard. And much like all Disney World resorts include, you've got an arcade area, which is probably going to be the closest thing you'll find to betting on horses at this hotel. But let's talk about the two biggest recreational premium activities you're going to find on Saratoga grounds. First, you're going to be right next to the Lake Buena Vista Golf Course, which offers an 18-hole course, pro shops, and a clubhouse area. And second, Saratoga Springs is the only resort other than Disney Grand Floridian with its very own full-service spa. Since his spa is inspired by New York's mineral springs, so expect a very natural earthy feel once you step inside. Some of the services offered at Senses include massages, facials, mani-pedi, body therapies, along with spaces to simply unwind, like the whirlpools and steam room and relaxation room. Reservations are highly recommended for the spa, though you may be lucky enough to find a last-minute walk-up spot if you change your mind and need some R&R like ASAP. To make reservations, you can call 407-939-7727 before your trip. All right, we're in the home stretch now, folks, so I guess that means it's time for a final verdict. Is Saratoga Springs going to be worth your hard-earned money, or should you be betting on a different horse or hotel? Head off to the races if you want a resort that steps away from Disney Springs. You want to request a room over in the preferred Congress Park to be within walking distance of so many different restaurants and shops and entertainment opportunities thanks to Disney Springs. You can also get to Disney Springs by taking one of the hotel's river boats, which are located outside of Carriage House in the Springs section of the resort. If you're wanting a Disney World trip that's actually relaxing, then this could be a good hotel for you. If you picture your Disney World trip being a whole lot of golfing and relaxing at a spa, a round or two of billiards in the evening, tons of shopping, then Saratoga Saratoga Springs could provide you with the trip of a lifetime, and you won't even have to worry about traveling all around Disney World property to make it happen. And maybe you're traveling with a large group of people. One of the best things about staying in a room at Saratoga is all that space you're going to get with the purchase of a villa. So if you're traveling with a bigger group who's willing to split the price of the room with you, or if you're just wanting more room to spread out with your family, Saratoga's rooms are roomy. And if you're lucky enough to get one of those fancy tree houses, you can wake up each morning among the treetops, and that's just icing on the cake. Now, Saratoga might not be the right option for you if you want a deluxe resort that doesn't lack typical perks. Saratoga has spacious rooms and easy access to Disney Springs, but at the end of the day, it still doesn't completely fulfill its role of being a deluxe resort with deluxe perks. And why is that? Well, you're going to have very limited dining options. You'll only have bus transportation to rely on if you're trying to get to the parks, which could take lots longer than other resort buses thanks to that internal bus loop. And if you wind up placed in a room that's over in the grandstand section or the carousel section, you're still going to be far away from everything, including Disney Springs, the restaurants, the feature pools, everything. So if you're looking to spend a good chunk of money on a deluxe room in the first place, it may be more worth your while to look into a deluxe resort with lots of accessible dining, quick and easy transportation, and way more pizzazz. Now, maybe you also want a Disney resort that's a lot more Disney. Since we're on the subject of pizzazz, we might as well address the elephant or the horse in the room. Saratoga Springs feels secluded and quiet. And yes, it's still a kid-friendly environment because you're at Disney, but at the end of the day, this resort is lackluster in design compared to pretty much all the other Disney ones available for you to purchase instead. In fact, the theming around this resort might actually make you forget you're still in Disney World, which could prove to be a good thing if you need an escape from the park. Or a not so good thing if your kids are going to be like, where's Mickey your entire stay? If you're paying to be in Disney World and you want to be reminded that you're in the middle of the most magical place on earth, this might be a disappointing choice. And maybe you want something cheaper way cheaper. Despite these bigger room setups, Saratoga Springs is still a lot of money for you to put down for a quick vacation stay. If you're looking for a bigger room at one of the Disney-owned hotels, but you'd rather not wind up spending over a thousand bucks each night, then Disney's All-Star Music Family Suites are the cheapest suites you're going to find on property, recently renovated, and usually priced around 400 bucks per night with the ability to sleep six adults. 
The cabins at Fort Wilderness are also pretty spacious, ranging in price between $400 and $500 per night, and include a full-size kitchen and private outdoor patio. Oh, and did I mention you get to ride horses there too? Come on, Saratoga, get with the program. All right, now I want to hear from you. Are you planning on staying at Saratoga Springs during your next Disney World visit, or has another Disney resort stolen your heart? Let us know in the comments and keep checking back here for more Disney World Resort reviews coming your way soon. Thanks for listening, everyone, and thanks for watching. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.